Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is War 5 of Season 41, and today we are up against Legion. Very good alliance. I've got White Magneto, Valkyrie, and Hulkling with me, and I'm going up path 8 in Section 1 and 2 in Section 2. So starting off with this Valkyrie, and then the Korg, the I Doom, and that Thing boss. I um I was doing this war a little hungover, that's why I'm doing it so late. I figured I'd do it all in one go along with the boss. And uh I'd make a couple of mistakes in this war, but you know, I get through it. So this Valkyrie, it's pretty simple. I'm just not gonna be blocking hits, and that way she won't ever get any benefit from the node. I quite like Valkyrie for Valkyrie because you know the the one defensive threat that Valkyrie actually has on defense is to shrug off your stuns and with Valkyrie on offense, you know, it doesn't really matter because you can either hit into their block or hit them normally if you get an opening. So basically whenever she ends a special or throws a heavy or I get an intercept, I'll be hitting her normally and if she's ever just blocking, I'll just be hitting into block. Here's the first mistake I make. I for some reason think I'm on a higher combo than I actually am and I end up inverting my combo too early and I don't get my third pierce is you know pretty inconsequential in the long run but just a, a little mistake there so here I'm just going to go below 20 revert my combo and then get my third pierce with a combo and then throw my L2 and it pretty much finishes her off I just make sure that she's going to stay blocking and then I go in to tap her to finish it off. Next up with this Korg, with White Magneto it's fairly simple, the big issue is the global. Uh, the one good thing that um, I don't think everyone knows about Korg is that you can actually hit his block even when he has a large amount of his crowd excitement because the hit that makes him go unblockable and unstoppable doesn't actually impact that hit itself, if that makes sense. So if he's on a large amount, you can tap him, he can go unstoppable, but he won't punish you because that is only affected after the hit actually lands. It doesn't actually come into play this fight, but it's a, it's a good way to deal with the global if you're not using a global attacker. So I've used a pre-fight, which means that I've got a lower chance to proc my prowess. It just slows down the fight a tiny bit. There I uh, go for a light intercept and he tags me. I, uh, I thought it was going to connect, but waste the indestructible boost straight away. Because I've not got many persistent charges, it means that that first special is thrown with not many prowess. I also don't get the extra duration armor break so by the time I get to my L2 it's outside the duration of the actual armor break itself. So I'm just going to bait out this special. Flourish has gone a little bit higher but it's not at risk of uh, making this fight go sideways just yet. Um, one thing I like to do against Korg is if he's being a bit stubborn you can dex and make him go unstoppable and that actually makes his AI more aggressive. Because it's more aggressive, it's dashing at you a little bit more than usual, and it's in a position more likely to throw specials. This fight is going pretty smoothly at the moment, baiting out this special. Flourish is a little high, so I'm going to try and get rid of that. There we go, tap him on block, and then we can finish with this L2. Next up, we have an infamous Iron Man. It's a... Uh, pretty much nodeless fight when using Hulkling here. Hulkling's shock immune. This is a rank 5. Um, the one thing that you've got to watch out for is that a secondary point to EMP mod is that they do extra energy damage on hits per the uh, the charge that they have. So if you get caught it can do a little bit more damage. However as long as you play it safe and don't get hit that's uh, it's not too bad a fight. The placebo buffs from the node themselves actually increase Hulkling's attack since he gets increased attack per unique buff on him, which is a nice addition there. It actually helps him in this fight. And uh, at the moment, I'm just 
trying to bait out this special one. He's being a little bit stubborn. I'm starting to get backed up a little bit, but I was on guard for that, and he throws it just at the right time. If he hadn't, then I would have just thrown my L2 without the unblockable or thrown it into his block, whichever one felt right. But, um, yeah, we're, we're back under control in this fight. Um, I have my big furies, and to save myself the duration, um, I'm not going to bait out an L1 here. I'm just going to take his L2 on block. This is my only fight with Hulkling, so I'm not too fussed about it. Now I want to get him a little bit lower, and then I want to throw my L2 at the point where he can hopefully get through his regen. So I throw it when he's about 20%, and the regen triggers, but my L2 manages to crit and takes him down. It wouldn't have mattered either way, but it was nice to not have to deal with it. The last fight today is this thing boss and I'm going to be taking it with Valkyrie. The nodes really just make him stun immune and gives him a ton of attack per buff he has on him. Uh, we, if you wanted to play it really, really safe, you could just hit him into block and not trigger the uh, the buffs that he gets. But really, I've got an involved boost on. I'm feeling pretty confident about it. So I'm going to treat this like one of my normal Valkyrie fights where I can hit them in the block or normally. Um, I'm just going to go for pretty much whichever one he offers me. So as usual with Thing, I will be conscious of how many effects I actually have when I throw my L2. I don't want too many and trigger his protection. If that does ever happen, you can always heavy attack and reset yourself, but that obviously just takes time. So I'd rather play it safe and throw it with, you know four or five effects guarantee myself not triggering his protection and making sure that it's a a safe fight so the first time that i reverse my combo is just the first time that i start a combo on six or more so that's you know 16 26 whatever and then i reverse afterwards now i am just going to bait out this special one and then throw my l2 I'll do a double medium, let him back off, and then go in, get my passive pierce, and then throw the special. As you can see, it does a nice chunk of damage, and this combo afterwards takes him down a little more. Because I know that I'm going to need to get back up to another special, I uh, I just go for a, a combo at the, uh, the last bit of the duration of that one. And I could have thrown my SP2 during those other few pierce effects that were dropping off but again you just want to be careful about protection so i'm just baiting out this other special and he throws it but then after this he goes a little bit aggressive and won't back off so i don't want to risk getting cornered so i do my throw special after a brief pause in the combo trick and then that means i can pretty much guarantee it going into his block you'll also notice when i'm fighting thing and I and he has a special I never finish a combo and dash back immediately he has the sort of special that can really lunge at you and catch you so for example here I don't dash back after finishing that combo because if he'd thrown it it could could well have caught me um, either that or you can do four hits and then dash back but here this sp2 manages to finish it off and it's a two minute fight really safe Valkyrie is obviously one of the best thing counters in the game and I would be 100% okay doing that fight again. And that finishes up my war. So overall we actually lost. We lost 5-2 to two on this one. Legion had a very good war. I mean so did we. I mean five five deaths is not not anything to be ashamed of at all. Uh, we just got outplayed on the day, and um, we've had a tough tough schedule at the start of this season, but hopefully in the second half it'll quiet down and we'll be able to solidify our master's place. But I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>